Today I'm going to be duping Tree Hut again. Hello, so today is a collaboration, well a bit of a collaboration with Tara Lee who is also making one of these scrubs so do make sure you go and check out her channel after you've watched this and see what she came up with. They should be fairly different. What I'm doing today is duping the Tree Hut cotton candy scrub. This scrub, as far as I can tell, is really sticky. <laughs> like way more sticky than I expected because being in the UK we don't really get these scrubs. I had to get this online, they're not really in shops or at least I haven't seen them in shops but the texture of them sort of, it's not gonna focus is it, really sticky and just like I don't know, I don't know, it's kind of nice but kind of not. I don't know. I don't know what I think of them. Anyway, it's a lot stickier than I th thought it was going to be. So from this, I have kind of deduced that it probably has quite a lot of glycerin in it. So I've reworked my recipe to include quite a lot of glycerin and sort of scaled down the other ingredients and we'll see what we come up with and see if it's any better. So let's skip to the making. So because this is a collaboration, I am going to give the formula for this. So if you want to make the silica base, this is my formula here. And it produces this lovely gel. And then if you want to make the scrub with that gel, then this is the formula I'm going to be following here. and you can find that on my Patreon and printable version if you want to join that, the link is below. Okay, due to learning curve with new software and new camera, we now have voice over Jenna. So the first thing you want to do is make the silica gel. So for that, get yourself a respirator, open a window, and if you have an air purifier, I highly recommend you turn it on because this stuff is horrible. You need to belt down your oils and butter and then take that off the heat and add your silica mix it in until you get this horrible lumpy stuff <laughs> and then leave it to cool once it's cooled you can cover it with cling film and then just forget about it for 24 to 48 hours because this now needs to hydrate and become a lovely smooth gel and doing that takes quite a bit of time so skip to tomorrow. This is what we end up with and I've portioned it out for the exact weight that I need for this formula. So it's nice and silky smooth and you shouldn't have any lumps in it at this time. Put that to one side for now and we're going to work on phase B which involves our glycerin. And as I said before, I think this tree heart scrub, just due to the weight of it, um, alone if nothing else um, but also the stickiness and just the whole feel of it I think it's mostly glycerin and glycerin is the highest listed ingredient after sugar so I think that's the case so add your glycerin to that we're adding our jojoba esters these are a new to me ingredient um, but it's said that when they're combined with glycerin they enhance 24 hour moisturization and highly benefit dry skin and apparently are best used at a ratio of 3 to 1 glycerin to jojoba esters but obviously I've used a lot more glycerin than that. Then they do have water listed very low down in the ingredients list. I think it's there to uh, add to the emulsification of the product and also for the water soluble ingredients. Then I've got polysorbate 20. This is another thing that tells me there isn't much oil in the formula and I think that's because polysorbate 20 uh, solubilizes a small amount of oils, um, otherwise they'd be using something like polysorbate 80 or another emulsifier. So we're using that. When you combine that with the glycerin, it also creates a thicker texture, more like a gel. So we're going to mix that in really, really well as usual. And then 
Once that's all mixed in and we're satisfied that it's combined, we're going to add some colour to this phase because it's just easier to disperse it. And for colour, I've had to pick the colours that I thought were the closest to Tree Hut. There's definitely some sparkle in there, so I've got some sparkly mica, um, some various pink sample mica packets that I had. I've mixed them together to create what I think might be close to the colour. Um, it's very hard to colour match pink, um, but we'll go with it. So I'm just going to sprinkle that in here and then mix it around to disperse it as best as I can. Tree Hut seems to be a bit of a cooler pink, um, but trying to cool this down has just resulted in purple, so I'm going to stick with what I've got. So now comes time to add our silica base, which I've got ready weighed out. So just add that straight into your glycerin mixture and then mix that round by hand to combine it. Take your time and make sure that you work it all together so that you end up with this lovely smooth fluid gel consistency that you can see here and this is looking really promising for our tree hut scrub so far. So what we need to do now is add our phase C ingredients and we're going to add the wet ingredients first of which I've got them all in here. This includes the strawberry extract, the cotton candy fragrance oil which I get from Pure Scented and it smells almost identical and then I've got phenoxyethanol EHD which is a broad spectrum preservative it's very good for scrubs and things like this and some vitamin E was in there as well and then once that's all mixed in you can add in your sugar and then you should end up with a texture something like this I also recommend leaving this overnight to get its final viscosity and here it is this is the final scrub you end up with and as you can see it sort of sticks to the spatula as I lift it up a little bit it does have that slightly stickier texture that Tree Hut has I think I may have nailed it so let's fill a jar And here is what I've come up with. And aside from the color, which is a bit off, the actual texture and the shininess of it and how fluid it is in the jar is pretty similar. So let's compare the two. This is the tree hut one. You can see how that behaves. And then this is my one. A little bit more fluid, but mostly quite similar. I'm really pleased with it. I think this is as close as I'm going to get. So after hearing a lot about tree hut scrubs, it's good to have one in my hand and feel what it's actually like. And I think I've made a pretty convincing dupe here. Um, there were obvious omissions, such as the vitamins A and C, which I don't have in stock, but I just replaced that with vitamin E. And I also omitted the talc. Um, that may have added to the texture um, a reasonable amount, which may account for a little bit of the difference. I could replace with arrowroot, but I've actually run out of that, so we just left it. I do feel like the oils are there just to create the gel and also for marketing purposes. There's also some reasonably expensive ones in there, so I think depending on oil polarity and things, they could possibly be changed, and I also didn't know what ratios they were in so I did them equally but you can change that up and see if it makes a difference. Here's the obligatory testing shot and it goes on pretty similarly to the tree hut scrub and it rinses off pretty similarly to the tree hut scrub so I mean I think this is as close as I'm gonna get. 
So it's a couple of days later and I've left the scrubs for a while just to see how they fare and I'm really pleased with the texture. It is near spot on. The only difference is really a colour and I feel like maybe Tree Hut used a finer sugar. So Tree Hut's sort of drops but it's quite sticky. My original attempt, I don't know if you can see the sparkles in there, it is really quite sparkly. It, yeah, it's sticky and it drops, perhaps a little looser than Tree Hut's. So yes, if you like the texture of Tree Hut scrubs, then this turned out pretty cool. Um, like I said, this is a collaboration with Tara Lee, so when you are done here, which will be in about two seconds, um, head over there and see what she's made, because I believe she's done one with a completely different ingredient, and I'm really interested to see how that turned out. So head over there now, um, and I'll see you in the next one.